we're doing guys we're out for a very uh, last minute 24 hour session just come to a local venue this is brookside fisheries in warrington not too far from me at all i uh, i only decided i was coming here about two hours ago messaged the owner see if there's any spaces he said there was four anglers on so made sure i'm first on the gate i can get first pick of a peg hopefully but yeah it's carp and cats in here so probably going to uh, have a rod out for both you can only fish two rods so i think by having my rod out for the carp and then one out for the cats is going to be my best chance of getting a bite catfish fishing isn't really my thing but yeah by having one out for both hopefully we should get a bite but yeah i'll show you once we get let in I'll show you the lake and which peg i pick so this is a peg i've gone for with first pick I've fished in this once before. I've fished this place twice, fished once here and did pretty well, we had a pretty good session. And then I fished over on that far bank and had a blank, so that my first pick I've come over to this this little corner. The wind's coming down this way. There's quite a few patches of lily pads which weren't here the last time I was here. Let's see how it gets set up. Get the rods out. So the rods have gone out. My first rod is just where that log is, just off the lily pads. That's my right hand rod. That's just fishing on the bottom. I'm just going to knock up a mix of some pellets and some boilies to put out over there with a spot. You're not allowed to walk around this bank, so I can just easily flick the spot out there, get some bait out that way. And then my left hand rod is just out to that far bank over there. And that's on a three foot zig. So both these spots I'm fishing are three foot and then out in the middle in this open area that's like four foot, five foot. So I'm going to start off there with the one on the bottom and one on the zig and see what happens. This is going to be the mix for the rod on the bottom. It's got some 11 mil pellets, two different types, some halibut ones and some normal, normal ones. I've just glazed them in some krill liquid and put a bit of uh, sloppy zig mix over the top as well just to help give a bit of a cloud. So here, I'll fire that out now. rods are out fishing as good as they can so that'll be it now for the night so hopefully i'll see you with the fish oh good morning guys no fish at 11 o'clock i did have a screaming run on my zig i picked into it and felt the fish and then it just pulled out straight away so I retied that and I've re that back out. I've put a slightly bigger hook on. I've now got a six. I know a six seems massive for zig fishing really, but just a lot more confident with a bigger hook. So hopefully the next one we'll get a run with, we land. The right hand rod's done absolutely nothing. Not even had a liner on it. I'm not seeing any fish at all in this bay to my right. They're all showing just off the edge of the, the point which technically isn't my water I've got until just before that really. So yeah, I'm just going to keep watching and see if we can come up with a plan to pull one out. It's been fishing really tough and I'm not sure really what, what to do and what to change. The lad who was just next to me here they've had a couple of cats they were fishing on worm so they've just disappeared now but he's just given me give me a little bag of worms so i'm going to stick a worm on a zig and see if that makes any difference i can afford to send it out a bit wider than my peg now with no one on here so we'll give that a go and see what happens Got one. That didn't take 
long at all, a zig with a worm on it. This one's just gone £16. Horrible things, these. So that cat's just come from where I've been seeing the carp show all the time I've been here. It's just off the edge of that island, so technically it's just out of my water. But yeah, that had only been out there about two minutes and it went off. I don't know whether the worms made a difference or just actually moving a little bit out of where I was fishing has made the difference, but either way I'm going home not on a blank now and there's still time to get another one. This one's 17 pound. It's a nice, cool, pale colour, like a mottled white. Yeah, this one came off worms again but on the bottom this time. We've got about half an hour left now. It has been a tough session. I expected it to be a lot better than it has been. Would have been nice to see a carp, but like I said before, at least I'm not going all in a blank. And I've had two. And this one at 17 pound is probably a PB cat. I don't normally fish for them, so yeah, like it is. session just got the last little bits to grab from the peg and then load up into the car it's been a bit disappointing really I'm sure on another day it would have been a different story but two cats on a last minute 24 isn't the end of the world so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, catch you again soon